<laughs> I like that you've got like a little five second theme song for your character. <laughs> uh, each of you guys get six cards. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, because there's only two of you. When Russ comes, reduce down to four. No reds. No reds. By the oh. way, um, Jason, uh -huh. I have to confess, and TJ, I've got to confess, I, I did a, a really mean, dirty trick yesterday. I knew that if there was only a few people, they may actually get some shit done. So I just got as many people in as I could. So <laughs> <laughs> it was mean of me. It was small and petty, but by God, I'm keeping the campaign no. hard. I, I knew for a fact that me joining, I was going to add what you were missing during that game session. And almost <laughs> the entire time, me and you were both fucking laughing hysterically. <laughs> well, so, yeah. there you go. Um, let's see. We'll start you out in the embassy. Uh, you guys are just kind of there. And uh, in case you need to grab anything or whatever. What time of day is it? Uh, good morning. Oh, fantastic. I look over at Wrestling Red. I'm going to bed. <laughs> and I go, I go to fucking bed. He just, he, he lays I down. pick a piece of glass out of me and throw it on the floor and go, I'm going to go to bed for a little bit. <laughs> Cut two. Go ahead and give me a willpower roll there, TJ. Wrestling <laughs> Red just He's going to say, hey, uh, I tuck him in. <laughs> read me a story wrestling read me a story wrestling um i'm gonna play my dissemination right away uh that's gonna let's I'm see bad bitch. What? play dissemination well, I, I, I got some things i can do i give you two cards uh oh that's fucking great that's a fun card for you to have already already pending a trade okay uh, so accept. Right. Did you say deeper penetration? Yes. I don't remember that card. I'm just cramming cards into Jason uh, and then refilling my hand. Ooh. I got fast talk plus twenty. That'll be it'll be fun for you, wrestling. Um, wrestling, rad fast talk? No. <laughs> no. All right, now let's see. Where's the red? There's the red. All right, uh, discard all of your cards immediately. All right, good job. Boop, boop, boop. Got that out of the way. Boop, 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 boop. Perfect. All right, now uh, let's see. Character sheets. Timmer. Yeah. You're wanting to match the willpower times five. Yep, yep, yep. yep. I gotta, I gotta get my character sheet open first. Yeah. No, yeah, no. Just match it without it being open. <laughs> yeah. Fucking get right on that as soon as I figure out how to <laughs> so make sure you throw the cards all over the place in case Freddie at some point jumps in later tonight. Um, he won't, but it's it's nice of you to think of him. I go uh, while, while he's sleeping and all that, I'm gonna be uh, getting some things out of storage, I'm trash. out of the safe. One point, it's oh shit, that's all I, I heal. Draw, I might draw a picture of him while he's sleeping. <laughs> um, do I uh. Do I get a uh, my magic points back on that though? Yeah. Okay, good. You wake up and see a picture of uh, or give me a, give me a painting roll or drawing roll there. Do a kind of picture you drew of him sleeping because it's adorable. Something is going on with that card. That not a card on the uh, desktop might be glitched. It shows up in front of everything. Try uh, uh, clicking it and hitting the delete button. If that doesn't work, try right clicking it. If that doesn't work. Does that like help? A lot of cards give me the option to take a card. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's just glitched on my screen somehow. Because I've cleaned it up and gotten it away on mine. Yeah, I see him moving the cards. Um, yep, it's gone now. Uh, if worse comes to worse, reload your uh, roll twenty, Jay. Yeah, I've done, I have had to do that a couple times now. 
Yeah, and if it still doesn't work, then I have a stick to hit the uh, tree with. And if that doesn't work, then you have to live with the nut card forever. <laughs> do I have to, well, if I log out of Roll20 and log back in, do I lose the cards I have currently? No. I would just hit the uh, refresh don't. button. You don't. Oh, you won't. Yeah. You shouldn't lose your cards. Weirdly enough, you mm -hmm. do not. Yeah, Roll20 is pretty awesome. Yeah, that took care of it. The refresh. Okay, Thanks. Cool. Uh, let's see. How are you on hero points, T? I'm good. Uh, I'm good. For now. I'm not. Yeah. I mean, I'm not starving yet. The action hasn't happened. Yeah. By the end of the adventure, I'll be down to three and just sitting there all bloody holding his fucking axe and rocking back and forth. Going, that is something you realize, Rastlin. Every time you've ever seen my guy, he's had fucked up scars. Fucking sometimes he's literally been just sitting bleeding. <laughs> Pieces oh, of glass, really? fucking rebar and animal claw. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I pulled a uh, piece of metal out of your chest once. Yeah, yep. <laughs> it's it's really hard to play a beginning character as a frontline fighter. So I mean that's Hey, I've got uh, I've got some chain mail for you. You need some chain mail? That probably wouldn't hurt. Fucking chain mail. I, I actually put Pull out my backpack. I've got a chain vest in there. Ooh, does that shit actually fit me? Probably. I'm not. I'm not. If we were playing a computer game, then everything would be a lot pickier and shit would wear down <laughs> and all that. Uh, I will write down in my equipment now. Chain shirt. Now, uh, just so you're aware, it's your responsibility to let me know before I roll damage on you that you're wearing armor. Because if you're not, obviously, miss the armor and hit you in the balls. Because it always hits you in the balls. Okay. I will remind you. Yeah, I would because it, it makes the die size shrink down. If you get magical armor, then it doesn't just shrink down one die size. It shrinks down two die sizes. Nice. Now, uh, <clears throat> one of the things I'm grabbing are my uh, papers for Beeskin that uh, Joshua McKay signed off on. Great. Just so you're aware, all this shit's going through the, the uh, elf guy. He goes and gets you everything. So you right. get into one. one. Yeah, you get to him in one uh, thing because he's quite busy dealing with literally hundreds of people and all their individual problems and stuff. So it's not like, oh, I just thought of something else I need from downstairs. That's what Freddie did, and Freddie is on the fucking hit list for the embassy. But mm -hmm. if it's once an adventure, he doesn't mind getting or putting something in there. When you go beyond this, at this point, he gets pissed. I give him words of encouragement after he gives me my things. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, as long as he doesn't have to keep going back down, because Freddie would be like, hey, you know, because it's, like it's like a half an hour thing for him to go get shit because of all the stuff he has to go through and around traps and past guards and all that shit. But Freddie kept, like, every time he'd bring him something, he'd be like, oh, yeah, I need this. You're a pillar of the end of embassy, uh, Elwin. Yeah, uh, attempt to bolster his spirits. Yeah. Critical. <laughs> he's proud to be part of something like this he says yes but someday someday i want to leave this world and live in a different one ah tell me more well i mean this world's okay but it, no matter how much we're doing with going out and trying to um teach the the people that they shouldn't hate elves as much i mean it was only uh two or two and a half years ago when they had a big elvish attack on this town so mm. uh the, the others seem super fresh yeah the others seem to believe that you know that was a long time ago because their lives are lived strangely but it, it's very fresh in people's minds mm. and so uh, I don't think that uh, the prejudice against elves is going away anytime soon. And I'm not saying it should. Many of the elves are really, really bloodthirsty, especially toward these guys who basically rolled in and stole their land. But 
I wouldn't mind. I, I've been back when uh, the MMO world wasn't uh, all filled with crazy assholes. That was much nicer to be able to go there and do your you're asleep, TJ. You're gaining back your one that's hit point. Right. That's right. One hit point. No! One. <laughs> and so he says, uh, "That's that's why uh, I'm looking forward to eventually going to possibly wherever these guys are. I don't mind Darius being the um, the charismatic leader of them, but I know how to get shit done. I've literally been doing everything for here." Hmm. And I've been training uh, Foxy to take over my spot. She is a much better administrator than um, what's needed for the kitchens. She can do it here. And she's accepted. She's one of them. Right. I wasn't aware that you uh, were originally from there. I'm originally from here. Oh, I see. But you already know about the, uh, the MMO land. I've been there a few times. So oh, much sex I had the first Now, time. did uh, Darius, is is he here in the embassy now, or is he still there? Oh, yeah, no, he's here. Um, because he's he he is one of the, uh, as they call them there, the undying ones. He's like you guys. Well, well I'm glad you brought this up, because uh, I've actually been thinking about this. Oh. What, what exactly would you think your people are most suited to because before you came here i got the impression that you were wanting to uh farm spices in order to trade with the dwarves that was something that freddie was really excited about oh uh, yeah <laughs> we, we, i thought darius uh darius had mentioned that you needed hydroponics equipment well we did for additional food and stuff but here food is pretty plentiful so we don't care about it here as much um we're still working on it though because we don't know what the next area will be like essentially uh all these people these like thousand people or whatever they've known each other for years apparently they were um a couple of big guilds that played some game in some imaginary place that merged together and so they've known each other for years and they all want to fucking stick together and live together somewhere and so we don't know what the next world's gonna be like the once we can hopefully the next world will have magic so that we can get the library because the library has a lot of stuff like how to set up a toilet indoor plumbing it's fantastic <laughs> Hmm. He seems really enthusiastic about, you know, plumbing. And, you know, so stuff like that. Because the weird thing is you can usually get some level of technology to work in the magic area, but you, it doesn't necessarily go the other way. And magic is good, but it's scary. Because if you have magic, you might also have magical monsters and shit. He says, you're the first person that's really taken an interest here. Come on, why don't you come with me and have some drinks? He says. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll, uh, yeah, I want to pick his brain a little bit just so I can try to make some uh, insights into their group. And some. what I'm also he looking for is... Questions. He takes you to his quarters, which are... They're big, but they're kind of stuck full of administrative shit. He... he it looks like he's uh, just looking around his quarters. A lot of stuff's organized, but then there's like some that's pretty disorganized. He apparently is good at judging what's important now and what he'll get to eventually. And looking around, give me an evidence analysis role as you look at it with Rassel and Rad's eyes and you go. Ooh. Let's see what I got here. Cases of grenades, AKs, <laughs> C4. <laughs> yeah. You're having some really, really good elvish wine, too. You didn't even know that this was a thing. It, it almost seems to evaporate before it hits your tongue. You're losing the taste. Mm, did not make my evidence analysis. You need something, but you have no idea what. Maybe... You look like you need a uh, secretary or a larger office around here, mate. 
Yeah, if you know, eventually he says when. But the reason I'm not is because we may be moving soon. What else did you want to know, Rasslin? Here, have some more wine. Yeah. He said, <clears throat> does he have much insight on the? Uh, basically, pick his brain on the different factions in MMO land. Like, well, what he can tell me about them and what he what he's picked up. I didn't spend a lot of time there, but there's not every uh, unless it's changed because I, I haven't been there in months but unless it's changed by the way tj you're going to be waking up fairly early to get you back in the game because nothing sucks cock as hard as just sitting your ass there so at some okay. point you want you can get escorted on in but whenever you feel or deem is appropriate i'm good <laughs> So, uh, I, in particular, I want to figure out if he knows anything about, like, the dwarves and... Um... Oh, Jesus. Okay, there was two different factions of dwarves. TJ gets uh, let in. Uh, he's got, like... It's like a bunch of guys with spears. Get in there! <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with that. Um... Throw on, have a seat, prisoner. We'll get to you next. <laughs> There was two different factions of dwarves. That this is what I'd heard. One of the factions made armor and weapons, and that's the one that the the undyings chose to do business with. The other one, all that they had was a whole bunch of gold, gems, precious jewels, and the ability to make those into you know jewelry and stuff like that. Those. They flew an airship out and bombed the shit out of while they were marching to the uh, attack the city because uh, they they had wanted the the spice trade and the undying one said fuck you because the two why, dwarf factions why are dwarves attacking the city uh, because they were upset not to get to trade spices with the city oh, because so the oh, other dwarves had blocked them and, ah so they cut a deal with the other dwarves for uh, yeah. Uh, Apparently, armor and weapons were more important than mere gold, precious gems, mountains of coins, stuff like that. So, what uh, is that? What both of those uh, clans are after? <laughs> What's that? Is that what both of those dwarven clans are after? They both want spices. Uh, yes, That's yes, it? they really went for the spices in a big way. Ah, right. uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I think that they also like. If we had had hydroponics and stuff set up, because food, the problem with food is you ship it, it spoils and stuff, unless you spend a lot of magic and get all that kind of shit going. But uh, if we were to sell hydroponics gear and stuff, because dwarves are very clever with metals and gems and stuff, I haven't heard that they have a lot of skill in like glass blowing and shit like that. So, you know, uh, yeah, th there was. But now the second clan of dwarves, the one that had nothing except for gold, gems, easily portable wealth, stuff like that, that the undying one, people said fuck you and didn't want, they, they took what remained of their army because now they have a, apparently all of their, their main salt of the earth, uh, uh, best and brightest and all that were killed in the horrible bombing apparently i think the undying's brought in weapons from other parts of reality or whatever just laid waste to them so now so they survivors there well not a lot just enough to let the other ones know what happened so that they will never ever trust the human again is <laughs> what i'd heard <laughs> any human anytime anywhere pretty much is now as i understand it kill on sight so, yeah, I would stay away from them um, unless you discover how to become a dwarf. Then maybe who knows what kind of things could happen? Because I've heard that from my uh, dad, he mentioned uh, shape shifting as a possibility for you guys. Mm. So if you can do that, I, you as a dwarf, oh, get the fuck out. Who knows what kind of stuff will happen then? But if I was able to strike a deal with all them blokes and stay they, they would give you way. nothing but mountains of gems and gold, nothing useful to you at all. He winks. Yeah, you but, but paperweight sounds like that's right. That's right. Um, 
but you, I'm not I'm not sure aside from spices because the thing is with spices they can only eat them so fast and well, you don't like them the hydroponic it. stuff where they can grow them and yeah. then they don't need you the spices and stuff like that I could just give them that as a gift as a sign of goodwill just to get me in the door so I could start uh, they're not even going to talk to a human I can tell you that right now we we have on the couple of occasions I went there, we tried sending out uh, uh, some people with just guests and stuff to talk, and we got sent back their heads. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did forget to mention that they, um, the the guy, the dwarves who had all the gems and jewels and stuff, they did send an ambassador and stuff like that, and some of the undying guys killed them and sent back their heads to the dwarves, I believe. I don't, I don't remember why. I think that they, yeah, I'm not really okay. sure. They were maybe a bit miffed at them for some reason. I can't, I'm not sure why they do a lot of what they do in this. Do uh, people also refer to the undying one as Kinley? Uh, oh, no, no. Kinley is their god. He, I think he's talking about the, uh, the original people there that were from the uh, MMO world. Oh, the original, the original guys that are here now. The bombs. What's that? The bombs. The bombs. Oh, that wouldn't surprise me. I'm not sure who exactly decided to bomb them and stuff. Actually, it might have been Kinley. It was his airship the uh, naughty uh, Shamrock? So even if he wasn't on board, it is his airship. He is famously connected. But um, yeah, no. Uh, to the people here, Kinley is their hero. To the people that were left behind, he was their god. But he's a capricious, drunken god. And um, they don't really obey him so much as uh, uh, blame him. Hmm. Well, Just a heads up there, wrestling. Uh, last time I had a dealing with that guy. Yeah, tore the heart out of an innocent guy and uh, ate it. Oh, nice. Elwin doesn't even look surprised enough to bother raising an eyebrow. He just goes, huh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, uh, yeah. What, what else can I help you out with wrestling? Because if anybody's going to come up with answers, it might just be you. Well, let, let me let me ask you so I can determine if it's worth the time. If I can arrange for peace and arrange a situation where everybody can live there prosperously, would you be interested? No. Prefer no, no. to go to a new place. Oh God, no! Yeah, we we've got to get out of this place. Um, we got to get out of that place too. Uh, so you can't imagine any conditions where you think you'd want to return there. No, no, no. That 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 place uh because there's other factions. The dwarves are just one faction. The dwarves are a good place to that they've got a lot of well, depending on which clan, if you want weapons and armor, if you want uh jewels and stuff. Because they I think it's Snow Snow Shield clan has the jewels and shit. But like I said, if you get killed from just approaching their lands. Don't blame me. The sounds of it, wherever the gems are, there's nobody alive uh, to protect them. It sounds like it might be uh, open grounds. Um, the, the, I'm, I'm just going in there with an expedition party and filling up a few bags. If you assume that they sent every living soul that they had, I'm not assuming that. I have no idea what's down there. Maybe they even have, and plus it's a magical land. They could have old dwarven magics. They could have big fucking monsters. Plus dwarves love traps. <coughs> I'd be careful. They wouldn't talk to a, a human. Do you think they would talk to a house elf? And I describe what Puddlefoot looks like? Possible. Possible. Hey, is Puddlefoot. he even able to travel there, though? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, he needs a ride i can get him a ride what you need he can get um yeah um <laughs> i've heard daddy says from somewhere probably everybody well but, 
that I wouldn't mind. Uh, I would like to, whether you people want to return there or not, it's on my to-do list to uh, stabilize that world and uh, bring those blokes and backsheesh and uh, see what kind of commerce we can engage in one day. Like I said, the best way I can think of, and I'm no expert on this, but if you can find a way to physically become a dwarf, that would probably at least get you in the door to talk to somebody with whatever horseback or something you have. It seems like it would be easier just to find a, a dwarf and uh, make him my friend. Uh, there for me. Uh, well, some of the other undying guys, him or something. Some of the other undying guys looked around, and from that clan, they could not find any dwarves. And then the other clan fucking hates those guys. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they fucking hate each other a lot. I don't know why. So if I understand this right. Uh-huh. One group of dwarves, let's call them, I don't know, early World War II Germans with tons of weapons and destructive items. And then the other dwarves were the rest of Europe with all kinds of vast natural wealth. And the decision Kinley made was, let's support the ones with guns. Uh-huh. Is his airship a giant flying head that just spews grenades and ammo and guns out? Uh-huh. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> I, yeah. I, I think that they also, and this is just something I heard. It's not confirmed. But uh, within sight of the um, retreating dwarves as, as they were retreating back to where they came from, I think that the the people who bombed them teabagged their leaders and stuff. I'm not sure on that. That's what I'd heard, though. Mm. <laughs> Repeatedly. And then they took all their heads and put them on uh, pikes and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if that was so that they could keep them with open mouths for later teabagging or if they arranged them. I, I've heard that there's at least one inn called like the uh, the Dead Dwarf, or maybe it's a tavern or something, where they've got like a dwarf's head mounted up over the door and stuff. So I'm not really sure that even the dwarves that they'd originally gotten the weapons and armor from are doing business with them anymore, because after the, uh, the Ice Torque guys um, went and freaked out, um yeah i'm not i'm not sure what happened with that but the ice torque thing that's a whole different faction plus there's an other factions and stuff elsewhere and there, there's some big ass dragon that lives farther north past the dead forest that has that creepy guy in the tower that knows lots of shit some sort of information broker i forget his name thorn something or other but be sure you get safe passage through the forest or the flying monkeys will get you. <laughs> no, they, the they flying like, monkeys are nothing to like, laugh at. They're horrible. Well, thank you, Ellen. You are uh, a great resource. Got a if lot there's anything else you want to know about anything else, I'd be oh. happy to talk. Absolutely. Um, you know, the, uh, the, do you know anything about Melwick's or Genovia? Uh, a little bit. I understand there is uh, a lot of similarities between there and here. How do you mean? Well, we are in uh, one version of San Angeles right now, yes? And oh. the worlds we were talking about, I understand that it's very similar in the time period and technology, but it's slightly different. There are not, uh, you know, you can get a ship from here to Genovia, but apparently, you go through some weird shift where everybody, like, part way on the journey because it takes a couple months to get there. 
part way on the journey, everybody becomes human for some reason, not not elves. Elves are pretty much kill on sight there too, because elves are kill on sight fucking everywhere. It's only <laughs> there, right? All the beast skin guys become human. What happens to humans who take that trip? Well, they stay that way. They stay human. They stay human? Okay. Quite a few people have been there. Now, uh, have you heard anything about Bada Town? Which I believe is there? In Geneva? Mm. It's some big merchantile area. Um, <coughs> ever, they've got um, mysterious lands far to the south that uh, they have caravans that go across uh, uh, a desert. Uh, he makes a memory for, roll for the name. Hamange, I think it is. And... Uh, Plus from some jungles and stuff. So there's all kinds of really uh, far away stuff that comes from there. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about paying a uh, visit there. To Barter Town? Yes. Well, if you go to Barter Town, be sure to bring stuff to sell when you go there even if it's not like you're even if you're just doing your wrestling rad scouting around thing um bring some stuff to sell because otherwise you have no business in barter town yeah mm. you can take the train i think all the way to barter town it's a little pricey but uh, the train is well defended and it's a lot faster tell me uh do you know who runs Barter Town? I do not know who runs Barter Town. All right. I think we should pay a quick visit there, Colburn. I wouldn't mind uh, having a Captain Cook and uh, selling a little gold. Elwin, we will talk again soon. It is been a pleasure. Anything I can do to, to help out? Um, yeah, but be careful because I know uh, he leans forward to whisper into wrestling rads here. I know Coburn carries uh, uh, around an axe and stuff, but he's always beat up when he comes in here, so I don't know if he knows how to use it. Mm. I think he can handle himself. I think he gets his ass kicked all the time, so be careful. here. I mean, I'm not sure, but it definitely looks like it. Genovia, Genovia. Hmm. Oh, by the way, um, I'm not sure what's up with Genovia. He makes a memory roll for something else. But I do know that uh, we've had a lot less ships from there since Westmead took it over. Westmead is uh, apparently taking over the sea trade as well. Hmm. <clears throat> well, do, uh, yeah. do you know anything about um, how we travel about with our uh, various little cards? You know anything? Not really. I think I did it once. Because somebody was able to make it into like a doorway. Ah, okay. I take out my uh, my uh, carbon fiber case and I pull out a, a card. Mm, that's a, a, it's a, a it's it's a scene from Barter Town actually. I'm like ah. <clears throat> now when when I'm holding these, can I sense if it's active or not just by holding it? It's a little bit colder than normal. It's like it's been kept in a refrigerator. Interesting. Like as compared to the other ones? Uh, no, all all of yours that are not that are still able to be activated are like they're they've been stored in a refrigerator for a bit before you got them. They just have a cold feeling to them. Mm -hmm. You can try this at home, kids, with a pack of cards. Just put it in the refrigerator when your parents say, what the fuck is wrong with you? Don't tell me you heard it here. <laughs> 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 
my children have gone insane. Thank you, Ape, anytime, anywhere. All right, so <clears throat> you want to uh, take a gander at Barter Town real quick, Mr. Colvin? Uh, it could be good. Could be good. Hey, uh, quick, question. quick question. Quick question for the little guy there. Huh? Yeah, you do a lot of administrative work around here, right? I do all the administrative work around here. You gotta flip through all the paperwork, all that. You ever get a paper cut? <laughs> he just looks at you. He's like, "Is that what happens to you before you come here?" It's uh, the price of people who do all the hard work behind the scenes. Paper cuts. Paper cuts. No, it's Some compared to the time I get my teeth kicked out, but sure. And uh, sure. just because you get paper cuts doesn't mean you suck at your job. You are. I feel like to about to say something. On a sham wow. I I made my listen roll by half, Logan. Nice. He says you are trying to say something. <laughs> Uh, just uh, pointing out that because one looks like they've been roughed up or got a couple little paper cuts. You got a piece of metal sticking out of you. Don't even get me started. Who do you think does all the hard work? Yeah, he's just a bare knuckle boxer. That's how he got all roughed up like that. He's got hobbies, mate. Is this an S &M thing? I don't know. I think. Man, no, bitch. Yeah. What are you okay. doing later there, Mister? Well, been nice to have you guys over. I'll see you later. Well, just a fast forward time. Uh, let's let's take a little walk. Now that I've got my papers, I want to go by the bank. You remember I had asked about the uh, safe deposit box, and I got all that arranged. I just needed yes. to get my ID in order. So, just to kind of save time, I'm going to go there, arrange for that. Um, stuff some stuff in there what is the cost of the because uh, i think you, you told me to ten dollars a month for the small box if you'd like one that you could uh uh fit uh uh tim into uh yeah, he's curled up like a baby uh that's uh fifty dollars a month okay which is like uh two and a half gold <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to pay for like uh, six months for the uh, one I can stuff Tim into. You want, you want one you can stuff Tim into. Very good. <laughs> you him like in there and you close it and you're like, I'll take this one. <laughs> the biker's I'll like, be back, I promise. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I'll be right back. I need some more drink. Out. So make sure you take off the blanket when it's daytime. <laughs> <clears throat> all right stuff some stuff in there all right so my goal is to go to barter town i don't want to spend a lot of time there because i know our friend uh russ will be coming along uh or maybe he'll just arrive there with us but my goal is to get some currencies mate before we head to hong kong understandable um uh let's see uh, what kind of currency do I have on me right now? Probably. Oh, I've got all three kinds of currency on me right now. Shit. I've got everything. I got some slee stack. And I got some. Uh, I got schmeckles, tri kingdoms. I see rest. Uh, In Hong Right. So, um, hey. that we were going to use the Trump card to go to Barter Town, so maybe that's where uh, the Rock can arrive and meet us. I was going to have him uh, pop in before you uh, left for Barter Town because no human has ever been to Barter Town and lived. But Jay, please reduce your hand down to four. Okay. Uh, do we have a uh, uh, like a leather, spiky, rusted uh, kind of outfit I could don before we go to Barter Town? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
<clears throat> I think just like your adventurer's gear will fit in there. But uh, okay. uh, yeah, I see what look you'd like to go to. Uh, yeah, you could probably pick up something like that here because they have a lot of perverts and whatnot, and yeah, you know, so they'll they can sell like sell a master. Bad. Not like a master blaster, but like a uh, Lord Humongous outfit going on. <laughs> oh, think of it this way. They do have a lot of chaps, and all chaps are assless. And speaking of that, hello, The Rock. <laughs> Welcome. Hey, hey. We can't hear you. You've got your microphone either not plugged in, muted, or something. We would like to hear you. Ye the, the rectum microphone is not coming in well. <laughs> mm. Can you hear us? Uh-oh. Yeah, we just can't hear you. Yeah, see what you can do there. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, uh, I've got a little test we can run real quick. Uh, hold it. All right. <clears throat> I'm pull going out to, my, uh, pull out my axe. <laughs> I'm going to go. Here, let's go into two. We're going to go into two separate rooms, and I want you to attempt to use the uh, trump card of me. Oh, you have a trump card? So I pull out a card of me and give it to you. Oh yeah. Can I keep <clears> this? We have we have our own rooms here or in the embassy. Uh, no, no, you used to back before it was overcrowded. Uh, <laughs> Russ, come in, Russ. Yes, uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Good. That was just Streamyard fucking with us. This hmm. is not a surprise to Logan. Yeah, because Streamyard said my mic was working when I came in, and then I came in and it wasn't working, so I just refreshed the page and now it's working. Cool. I draw four cards. Uh, you you see uh, uh, these guys are uh, talking to each other. Can I keep this? <clears throat> Hi, Mike. Uh, Welcome to the party. Keep the trump card to you. So, oh, wait a minute. Um, yeah, so where were we? Uh, so we don't have separate rooms anymore. The uh, You're in the Old West, Russ. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we're we're in the embassy right now. Okay. The room. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah okay. The embassy's fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he panics. Down, boys. <laughs> Just... Arrow. <laughs> the room Hi, that Logan. the uh, painting is in, Logan. <laughs> um, that's uh, been moved up into the attic, which is under guard. Oh, okay. Rassler. Or at least. Don't... They tell you it's in the attic, and it is under guard. The guards tell you it's in the attic. Whether it is or is not is a complete mystery. All right, let's Whether go to the attic. Uh, they, they tell you that people aren't allowed up in the attic. Oh, why is that? Uh, strict orders from uh, the uh, ambassador. Oh, well, you know, uh, Wrestling Red and the ambassador are just like this. They just stare at you. The rhino-headed guards are really just—they don't—they don't really respond to people because they know that uh, the um, uh, the main enemies of the uh, um, ambassador are also his closest friends. So they just stare at you. <laughs> Foiled the game. All right, mm -hmm. enough of that. Yeah, it could be eaten by rats by the time the party gets to it. You're just not sure. All right, we'll coming across. Go back to the uh, the drawing room. Uh, so, Mr. Rock, do you need to gather any of your belongings before we go off on our whirlwind tour? Um, who are you? Oh, I'm Wrestling Red, mate. <laughs> <laughs> We've spoken through the interstellar duval lackey. Ah, oh, all right, all right, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm here. I'm I'm ready to go. Uh, got my blue face on. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Are you wearing blue? Are you dressed in blue face now? Yeah, yeah. I, I started doing that when my sand dropped uh, okay. below fifty again. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, he's going around in blue face. Performance artist. Waka Waka. Blue Man Group. Waka oh, Murphy. Bye. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
So the idea is we were going to go to cyber Hong Kong area and see what's going on there. Uh, yeah. but, uh, we were going to stop in uh, out of town, grab a couple of things real quick, maybe sell a couple of things. So if you've got anything uh, stored away that you want to sell, and now might be an opportunity. Wrestling. Okay. Um, this card. What's that? Your trump card. Am I keeping it? Oh, thanks, mate. I'll take that back for now. We can try it out later. <laughs> <laughs> <Probably around here. laughs> no, I don't have anything in particular. Maybe I want to get some, uh, maybe I want to change over some gold to uh, Hong Kong currency, but that's about it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Bring a little gold with you. Yep. <clears throat> and let's see. Check a couple things. I've got what I need. So when we go back to the uh, drawing room, uh, I'll attempt to activate the Barter Town card. No problem. It eventually opens out to a bigger uh, area. No, it's a quiet little uh, place. I'm not sure exactly where they made it to in Barter Town, but probably somewhere out of the way. Uh, I might be able to tell you. Let's see. Good. Uh, by the way, Barter Town, just so you know, Russ, it's just like in the fucking Mad Max movies. Ah, okay. Are you using a different mic or something than you normally do, uh, Russ? No, same mic. Hmm. Just Streamer House fucking with us. Hmm. Why? What's going on? Um, it's loud for you, TJ? No, no. He's coming across with like kind of like an echo as if he's inside yeah. a giant empty room and it's bouncing off yes. all the walls. Yes, that I'll uh, agree with. Okay. Um, we need you to crawl into a very small cave and then <laughs> transmit from there. Under the desk. Wow. Yeah, this is really funny. I got a new monitor and I, I put my new monitor into the room and it's affect the webcam. So that makes a lot of sense. Um, <laughs> Uh, the uh, <clears throat> the Barter Town card, it doesn't say exactly where. It was the Hong Kong one. He told me where mm -hmm. the scene was. No problem. Appears we're inside of a cage, and there's a man grabbing a chainsaw over there hooked up to bungee cords. <laughs> <laughs> All three of you guys walked the pattern, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, see what you can do, Russ, because it's, it's – uh, not nearly as good as it used to be. Is it for the camera further back from you? Let me see. I'll try moving the monitor. Oh, right there. It's much better as soon as you lean forward a bit. So it's totally about the distance that you are. From okay. The All right. Well, it's testing. Is this good? Better. Okay. That's that's the visual, but not the audio. No. Um, TJ okay. may have a more discerning ear than I have. Better? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, it's fine. Cool. I can survive. Then okay. sing about it, TJ. Because I am in I'm in my office and I but I don't know why the microphone wouldn't be picking up my voice directly. So Oh no, your voice is coming through perfectly. It's just also coming through with like a little bit of a... I'm in a really big room. Well, it's it's the further you get away from your microphone, the more ambient uh, echo it picks up. Whereas if you're closer to it, then it gets it's more focused in on just you because there's sound cancellation software also runner. Oh, okay, fun. Um, let me try this. Hmm. You could pad the walls with orphans. Is this better? Is this hmm. better? About the same. A little bit. Okay, because I just turned off one of the inputs that shouldn't be on, but I turned it off. Um, let's see. Try moving your mouth physically a bit closer just so we can test and see if that's <coughs> now talking. Okay, now I'm really close. Is zero. that better? Uh, yeah, there's zero, there's zero uh, bullshit, yeah. Oh, is the microphone built into your camera? Yes, it is. Uh, nah. Mine is too, but uh, for some reason, uh, nobody notices mine. So the problem is the mic is not facing me. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. How about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what it is. It's, it was not facing me. It was picking up my voice off the walls. 
Brilliant. Okay, cool. So, so that should work. That should work. Okay, cool. We will make you sound pretty. Okay, so you guys uh, step through to the uh, dust and dirt and grit of Barter Town. Uh, there's a lot of different people wandering around in amazingly weird get-ups. The only one who really, I mean, are you guys all wearing adventurer clothing? Yeah. Adventure clothing passes. TJ doubly passes because he got on like a bunch of spiky shit and stuff like that um, to come through and really try to fulfill his Mad Max motif. And that definitely uh, helps out for reasons. So, yeah, you can welcome to Barter Town. I, since you guys are in Barter Town already, it seems that you bypassed all the gate bullshit and the posturing guards bullshit and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, here you see uh, it looks like uh, there's lizard in addition to the various humans and stuff, there's also lizard folk wandering around um, that are they're like D&D &D lizard men. Um, there's also Oh, and uh, their flag is, it's a uh, yellow background, a off-center red plus sign with two crossed swords. Uh, there's also, where are these guys? There's also some other people that are like uh, dog people, and they have a black sun on a orange background. There's but also, oh, yeah, uh, it's not just humans here. Uh, there's a shitload of humans here. You do see uh, there's a, a few of the uh, flags that are, have a light blue background with a dark blue plus sign uh, that goes all the way to the edges uh, with a golden anchor centered. And golden anchor. Golden anchor, and then there's also uh, horizontal uh, or sorry, vertical bars: green, white, and blue. And let's see who else has made it here. Uh, and then there's just one flag that is a red background with a golden triangle on the left with a black anchor on it. Uh, Logan, is this a new zone for me? Uh, the uh, Genovia world? Yeah, have you been in Genovia? Genovia, yeah. Uh, I've been to Melwix, is that Genovia? Yeah. Yeah, Melwix is. Okay. Yeah, now you just, you've just managed to get to a part of the zone that you haven't been to before. Okay. Yes, Melwix, yes. <laughs> So, are there uh, various um, <coughs> stalls, stands and stuff like stalls, that? Uh, is there a place called Cash for Gold? Uh, give me a luck roll at half. I don't know. There might be. Yeah. If there is, it also has the mandatory guy with the arrow sign. No. Okay. <laughs> There's also people wandering around selling water. Okay. It's a bit deserty. Yeah. Mm. Well, there's probably a cash for gold at uh, Hong Kong. Yeah. So look around, see what kind of uh, trading is going on. I'm looking for a place where I can uh, trade gold, sell gold. Things like that. I'm also trying to, if, if there's actual activity taking place, see what kind of money is changing hands. No problem. There's a lot of different trading and lots of different kinds of money and shit. A lot of people are using uh, uh, gold and stuff because gold is gold. Um, it looks like... Uh, there's just a huge variety of goods and stuff. Yes, there's spices. You could also get, uh, it looks like the guys with the uh, 
uh, lizard people that have the uh, uh, yellow flag with the red plus and the cross swords. Looks like they're also selling um, uh, land yachts. Everybody remember what land yachts are? Vaguely. Mm -hmm. the, the the boats with wheels that are like sailboats with wheels made to go on uh, ice pirates. Mm -hmm. and shit. Ice pirates. Did the ice pirates use those? Cool. So, um, the uh, Doctor Who ice pirates. Mm -hmm. uh, they are. They also sell uh, um, some sort of uh, weird drugs and stuff like that. Um, they also sell uh, charms made by the witches of the desert sands of Haminj. All right. So uh, I'll make small talk with some of the vendors and find out uh, who buys precious metals. And and you run into your first language barrier. I, the lizard folk, give me a... Uh, um, do you speak any languages? Begin with letter S. Letter S. I don't think so. Give me a new language roll, and I'll tell you what it is if you make it. If you fail it, you can roll linguistics to figure out which language it is. Hey. Colbert Maddox fucking note. <laughs> Colbert Maddox, take a check in Swahili. Swahili. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. And uh, <laughs> nice. Let's see. Uh, anybody you speak a language starting with letter F? Finnish. Yes, Foltish. French. Give me a French roll. <laughs> the dog people seem to be speaking French to each other. <laughs> all right hold it hold it i'm getting checks in these two let me see swahili and french i i listen to see if anyone is anyone speaking mandarin in the area swahili i'll let you french. know i'm just going around it who all's in the area here does anybody speak any aboriginal dialects <laughs> 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 uh, don't worry. The, the, in season six, I'm thinking that there may be some shit set up in Australia by you. You speak <laughs> Aboriginal. <laughs> you speak Aboriginal, wrestling? Hey, Pajat Jat Jara. Uh, uh, run that by me again. Pajat Jat Jara. Uh, hmm. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, let's see here. And I don't even think I speak it now. That's <laughs> like, <laughs> like me either. <laughs> That'll be all little secret. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone looks at you like, what the? Um, the only guys who uh, speak your language are the Golden uh, uh, Anchor or the um, guys with the uh, green, white, and blue flag. Who are you addressing that speak our language? English. Oh, I'm speaking. Well, okay, yeah, let's yeah. talk to them. So that was, um, let me bring my notes back up here. You said which two? The uh, uh, light blue background, dark blue uh, uh, sign with the gold sign that goes all the way to the edges with the gold anchor. They speak English, uh, though they look a bit like pricks. And. Um, well, the, that makes Mm. And then the uh, green, white, and blue guys. And all right, let's go talk to those crackers. Oh, does anybody speak a language starting with D? <laughs> Anything with D? <clears throat> no. Yep. Try new language. The guys with the red flag with the uh, uh, gold triangle and the uh, uh, anchor, they speak a language starting with D. No? All right, cool. So. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Rock gets a check in Dutch. Dutch. 